Namaste, this is Surabhi, your master teacher of chemistry at Toyerandu. Welcome to the session. So, how are you all? Doing good? Missing me? Mm -hmm. So, do let me know in the comment section. Let's see. So, let's get started. What are we starting? What is the session about? So, this is basically a five day challenge, and today is our challenge number one. So, this session is, this series is going to be super duper interesting because we will be doing some fun activities together. Are you ready? And there is one more important thing which I have to tell you. Mm, stay till the end. I'll let you know. Okay then, let's get started. So what are we talking about today? It's crystallization technique. So we all know what is a crystal, you know? Can you define crystal or crystallization? Okay, let me do it for you. Crystal, any solid material in which the component atoms are arranged in a definite pattern. So it will have a very well arranged structure right a crystalline structure yeah so and whose surface regularity reflects its internal symmetry so these are few crystals and we always go like whoa whenever we see a crystal but imagine doing forming crystals at home mm, more interesting right so before that here are a few points which i want you to know so what is crystallization so it is a method used to purify solids you remember Separation techniques, why we prefer crystallization to evaporation. Ah. So crystallization is a process that separates pure solid in the form of its crystals from a solution. So what is the principle behind it? How? You will have liquid and after a while you can see crystals from that. So what is happening? How does this crystallization work? So crystallization is based on the principles of solubility. So we all know a solute dissolves in a solvent. That is how a solution is formed. But we also know that solubility is dependent on temperature, right? So with the increase in temperature of the solvent, the solubility of that solvent also increases. For example, if at 25 degree, I can dissolve 5 gram of NaCl in 20 ml, assume. But at 28 degree, I'll be able to dissolve 8 gram of the solute in the same amount of the liquid. So that is, with the increase in temperature, its solubility also increases. So what we do, we will just heat the solvent, we'll go on adding the solute. So we are basically preparing a saturated solution. But what happens once you stop heating it once the solution is uh, you know there will be decrease or drop in the temperature so those solvents can no more hold on to the dissolved solute so they will start coming out as the crystals but one important thing is those crystals are pure they it won't contain if i'm talking about nacl so in that there will be only sodium chloride nothing so we all know right ionic compounds have that certain structure yes so it won't let any impurity enter into it so once those crystals are formed the impurities will be in the solution only crystals will be formed so that can be separated by filtration so this is the principle of crystallization so but how to do it ready to know Okay, so before that, here is an important, important, important uh, announcement kind of thing. Yeah. So when a joiners gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks? Yes, of course, yes. The answer is yes. But how? Where? I have some problems. Do you have a solution? If you are someone who's like, yeah, let me hear it out. Come on, tell me your problems. You can just send it in the chat. The chat. So unlimited life classes. So these are the solutions which we have figured out for your problems. Unlimited life classes with fun and high level quizzes. Yes. So you all love quiz, right? So every session where you can play the quiz and even if you couldn't attend the session, go back, watch the replay and you can still play the quiz. So compete with students all over the world. Interactive replays with live quizzes and leaderboards. So as I told you, even when you're watching the replay, it will be very interactive. You won't feel bored, which kind of happens here, no? So premium downloadable content with handwritten notes of master teachers. Everyone will learn PDF hai, PDF na. So here you will be getting the handwritten notes of the master teachers. Hmm. So all the amazing master teachers ka notes you will be having. So you will know how to approach a question. You will know how to answer the question in the exam. 
right? So in-class doubt solving with quality tests and assignments. So after every session, we'll share the assignments. Tests will be conducted regularly. You will get the performance report. You will know your strengths and weaknesses, which is super duper important. So free 5,000 plus micro courses and crash courses. So once you are a pro subscriber, Joby micro course or crash course, you can just enroll into any for free of cost. Yes, do not pay. Do not pay a penny also. So less is more how? Huh? More number of classes, less is the price you need to pay. So just visit the link given in the description and in the pinned comment, use the code S-U-R-P-R-O. See after that, so till June, you will have to pay only five rupees per class. So if you take one month ka pro subscription, you will be paying six rupees. So whatever it is, you know, whichever you are okay with, you can go ahead and get it. One month ka is enough? Okay. So, but the link is available in the description and the pin comment is S-U-R-P-R-O, Surpro. Next is crystallization. So, we all, I just told you, yes, crystallization is better than evaporation technique. But how? How is evaporation not better than crystallization? Because few of us like evaporation. Hmm. So, some solids decompose or some like sugar may get charred on heating to dryness. Right? Evaporation, that's what we do. We, you have to heat it to dryness so that all the solvent will be evaporated. You will be left with the non-volatile solute. But then they might undergo decomposition. They might get charred like sugar. And you heat it to dryness. H and O, you, you will be left with carbon. So some impurities may remain dissolved in the solution even after filtration. So that um, impurity will just contaminate the solid. Right? So this is the reason we prefer crystallization to evaporation. Now, what are the applications of crystallization? So purification of salt, which we get from seawater, because that seawater, um, if you evaporate it, whatever the salt, the, sol uh, the solute remain, it's not pure. It's basically a combination of different salts. So, but if you want NaCl, then you can use crystallization. Separation of crystals of alum from impure samples so here also we can use crystallization now let me tell you the procedure so heat some solvent to boiling you know please use the boiling chip so this you won't have it at home so you can just use that um, oh, tiles aate hai na? so the same thing okay so why we add boiling chip is to make sure that the heat you know it will be like distributed properly hmm? place the solid to be recrystallized now you need to add amount of few amount of some amount of hot solvent into the flask containing the solid so then obviously it has to dissolve right so make sure that all the solute has dissolved so if the solid has not dissolved then add more amount of solvent and swill again okay so once the solid is all in the solution just keep it somewhere do not disturb it so after a while, so you will see the crystals. So what we do in the lab is, so because, you know, because the principle is decrease in temperature. With the decrease in temperature, there will be formation of crystals. So we either will add it to the ice cubes, okay, a container with ice cubes, or we'll just let it cool down. Ice bath me. Okay. Now, if you are wondering, mm, how can I do that? I don't have ice cube or that boiling chip or anything. But here is your challenge, which you can do it at home. So to grow your own salt crystals, you can do this at home, children. So table salt, that is sodium chloride. Har ghar mein hai na? Don't say no. So distilled water. So try to take, do not take tap water, at least the filtered one. Chalega. Okay. So a clean and clear jar. So maybe, you know, uh, something like this or the jam one. You can take it and then a string, a spoon for stirring. So these are the only things you need. So Okay. So what to do? So what are the steps? How should I, how can I get crystals at home? So stir soy, salt into boiling water. Okay. Until no more salt will dissolve. That is basically a saturated solution. So be sure the water is as close to boiling 100 degrees Celsius. So carefully pour the solution into your jar 
putting a spoon into the jar before adding the water okay so you have the solution so before adding the uh, water the solution to it just place a, a spoon into it so that the water that spoon will prevent the jar from breaking suspend your string into the jar from the spoon laid across the top of the jar leave your jar somewhere it will not be disturbed so if you i don't want you to go check it peeking into it and trying to you know remove it and all that no do not even touch it so after that what should i look for how will i know whether the crystals are formed or not so once your crystals have grown here are some things for you to look for so any impurities in the salt or the water will change the shape and color of the crystals you grow yes then what is the shape and color of the crystals they let me know in the comment section try using different types of table salt okay iodized unidized sea salt and even the uh, substituents also you will get right or maybe if you have this baking soda and vinegar at home you mix them together you will get a salt right and then you try the crystallization with that also so you can even use different types of water tap water use kar lo and then the filtered one then can you see any differences in the appearance of crystals so that is your challenge so let me know in the comment section and i had told you at the beginning that there is some fun thing at the end so here is some some thing for you so um if you are doing this challenge i want all of you to try it i it won't take much time i know you are busy with the exams and all but it won't take much time and you are here you will be learning something right so record try to record this whole uh, entire activity and you can just send it to this uh, mail id elementarychemistry80 at gmail.com so guess what so if i love that video of course you know if you are uh, pouring your heart into it it will come out well and do not worry about the results if i find it really nice in the entire uh, team so we will be clubbing all those videos and i will we will prepare a video students way yay so at the end so what say yes i offer it challenge this is a challenge huh? so let me know and one more thing i forgot so something big is coming what is that it's not related to elementary chemistry and it will last for over a month what is that do let me know try to guess it in the comment section so i'll see you very soon till then keep loving chemistry elementary chemistry by vedantu and do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button share this video with your friends challenge number 1 is here try to do it thank you so much bye bye take care